Greetings to you all, and welcome to Desert Strike, and welcome to his fantastic music. Some things just need to be appreciated. I am Ortega Omega, I'll be playing through this game from my childhood. Do I know much about this game? Not really. I played it as a child, I've never played it in my life since. It was fun back in the day. Maybe it's fun now. Maybe I misremember and it's complete garbage. Let's find out. Oh, also, you can interact with this menu screen. Observe. Look at that. Fantastic. Okay, so we've got some options. First of all, we can change our buttons. It's kind of irrelevant. Second of all, is that a phrase? We can change our control scheme. Now, with momentum, makes the helicopter fly like a helicopter. From cockpit, makes it fly... Um, how do I explain this? It makes it fly like you're playing any other kind of top-down game where left and right rotates the vehicle. And from above, plays as any other top-down game where left and right are absolute directional controls. So, from above left, you move left. From cockpit left, you turn left. With momentum, you're flying a helicopter. I don't know why you'd play this game and not have the helicopter feel like a helicopter. But, uh, I mean, if you want the game to be easier, there you go. Pick one of the other options. Now, we get to pick a co-pilot. The co-pilots are slightly different from one another, based on their abilities. I don't know the specifics of their abilities. So my selection is going to be entirely based on how cool their code name is. Which means that X-Man is going to be my co-pilot. He's probably not the best. Right, let's crack on. Oh, I'm listening to- whoa. I was listening up, but you went a bit fast there, Chief. Mm -hmm. One psycho, okay, got it. Nuclear plans, got it, got it. I can't read this fast, man, slow down. Four missions, okay. I see them on the chalkboard. They're numbered very nicely, but they're not written that well. I think the mission's in order. I understand, you rotund chap. Let's do this. In the chairs at the front there, that's myself and X-Man. Seems you get a long time to read the final section, but it is the inst you know, your mission objective, so I understand that. This is my vessel. I'm not sure why I just landed back on it. Okay, sorry about that. I wasn't quite ready, I was nervous. And you're not allowed to fire your weapons until you're a substantial distance away. But, there you go. So this is home base, or what's gonna be my home base. I'm gonna introduce you to a few things. Anyone we rescue, we take back here, for evac, on this ship. I don't know, it's a bit generous, but yep, yeah, ship. This guy keeps watch. That's all he does. He don't do that. And then we have some restocking equipment here. So there's some fuel drums and there's an ammo crate. Which I will need, because you do run out of stuff in this game. This is the radar stroke map. It's just called a map, is it? Alright, this is the map. On the map you can highlight different obstacles. So at the moment, we're seeing where the radar sights are. They're flashing vehemently at me. But I can rotate through the things and it will show me whatever. These random crosses are apparently airfields. I understand it's a plane pointing down left, but come on, it doesn't look anything like that. But there's my four objectives, and we're going to do them in order. Secret agent could be anywhere. VDA is some kind of enemy, I think. Or No, I don't know what a VDA is. Rapiers are enemies. AA A's are enemies. There seems to be too many A's, but alright. And then we can also find out where the pickups are if we need to restock at any point. Wonderful stuff. But we're going to start by destroying some radar sites. If we see anyone wearing beige, that means they're on our team. Anyone wearing green means they're on the enemy team. Which is confusing because my helicopter is green, not beige. So I don't know, maybe I'm going in incognito or something. But the basics of this game are pretty simple. I have... An array of weapons, three different weapons to be precise. 
and apparently terrible piloting skills. We have this basic cannon, which appears some distance in front of my helicopter, not actually at the base of my helicopter, not sure why. Must be some kind of advanced technology I'm not aware of. The devil is going on. This is my weapon of choice for dealing with infantry and things that can't fight back, like radar dishes. Then we have these rockets, whose name I will find out in a minute. Hydras. They are my light missiles, I just flew into that. Because apparently I don't know how to go any higher than this. I don't know why. But I have hydras. And they are fairly good against light vehicles. And then our ultimate weapon, we have the Hellfire Missile. Which I'll use against actual frightening targets. In the menu on the left you can see my stats. Fuel is an important one, as is armour. Load is how many people I've picked up. Lives are lives, I'm sure you can figure that one out. Ammo across the top, right. I feel, I feel like a teacher. Just dumping all of the instructions on you. Let, let's... That's enough. You know how the game works? Let's play. Any of these structures you see are able to be destroyed. If my aim didn't stray from the left of the building to the right of the building. I promise you can destroy this. Okay, this is ridiculous. Come on. There we go. And there's usually stuff contained inside, not always. Sometimes you'll find a nice treat, maybe an ammo crate in there. Sometimes you'll find a soldier ready to take a pot shot at you. Could be anything. That's always a bit risky, but sometimes it's worth exploring. If you're running low on fuel and you're desperate and there's a barracks next to you, you might want to blow everything to kingdom come. I don't know how many rockets it takes to destroy those things, I just fire. Also, I'm not very good at following maps. If you watch any of my other videos, you know that by now. Apparently it's only two. That thing is terrifying. So that is a rapier. These are the triple A's. Uh, I don't know why there's so many A's. Running low fuel. Well, this is awfully convenient. All right, calm it. Calm down. You don't look all that friendly. Well, oh, hellfire that. Anyone that's mobile is a threat. I am now going to destroy a power plant. Settle in. For some high impact gameplay. Also, are you enjoying the music? This is like it's this weird game. It has absolutely fantastic music on the intro screen. And on the mission debriefing screen. And then it just goes away. I don't know. I don't know why. There's just no music in the game. Which is a shame, but we've got to make do with what we got. Taking a lot more hits than I would have liked here. I tried to casually drive away, not having any of that. I am now out of hydras. I could do with an ammo crate, really. Maybe I'll go and scout one out in a moment. It is very difficult to destroy these things with basic weaponry. Ammo. Ah, there's some ammo just to my left. I like that guy's ambition. He ran to me, assuming I was going to save his life and evacuate him from this war zone. What a foolish chap. Yeah, I'm not sure why I make such an enormous crater when I destroy tents, but... You know. It's modern tech, alright? It's it's fancy stuff. Someone just get in that plane. Right. My job is to destroy the airfield. I shall now destroy. Planes are quite fragile. Obviously, they don't fight back when they're in this kind of state, but... They're quite fragile, they can easily be destroyed by the basic gun. I 
I forget exactly what you have to destroy in an airfield for it to count as destroyed, but it will disappear from the map when it's done. You probably have to destroy the hangars and the control tower. Slip in a couple of hydras there. Speed things up a bit. Wonder if I use fuel to hover. We're at 30. Well, that was unfortunate. I am using fuel, damn it. Also, this place isn't destroyed yet. I don't like this level of realism. You see a man with a giant yellow stick, that means he has a bazooka. And that means he's far more durable to bullet fire. I, I don't know why, but... That's quite a lot of warnings. Okay, so the fuel's here somewhere then, right? Yes, it looks like it's the one higher up though. Alright, calm down. I'm looking for the damn fuel. No, Alright, my co-pilot's getting a bit antsy because he thought we were going to plummet to our death. Honestly, I don't know what his problem is. Right, my armor's very low, but I have a load of three. It means I have three people currently inside the helicopter. Gonna evacuate them. What does that do? Well, obviously, it restores my HP. What, doesn't that make sense to you? I've saved some people. So... I get my HP back. Logical, right? I forget how much, also they disappear when they enter the ship. But uh, apparently a lot. 150 per, I think that was. The airfield is still existing on the map. What have I not destroyed there? Don't worry, by the time I finish, this place is going to be a wasteland. Oh, I missed the plane. That's it, right? Fantastic, on we go. This is level one, so things are quite generous. Why is there a Polish flag here? It was unexpected. Anyway, I feel like I've made my point in that one particular barracks, so I'll let the rest live. Not that thing, though. Where the devil is this airfield? Okay, going the right way. Should follow the roads, really. Use some kind of navigational system with landmarks. As you would imagine, every airfield looks exactly identical. You've got to build these things to certain specifications. They've got blueprints to follow. They are pros, these guys. Am I looking a bit low? I'm going to be cavalier with my hellfires. Please die. I'm out of hellfires. I shouldn't have been quite so cavalier with those. I knew I was going to have to pick up an ammo crate, which is why I was going a bit crazy, but... Apparently there is one here, but I can't fight what's here, so we're going to have to retreat. I'm going to go to the... The Tarmac 8. I shall return. You guys just stay put and don't inform anyone else of what I'm doing. That would be most appreciated. Did I reveal this earlier and just... I'll pay attention to it. All right. Sounds like something I'd do. D do you mind? Right. Your items cleansed. Let's destroy.
Let's not destroy too quickly. How is the most effective ambush you have waiting for your building to get destroyed? I mean, sure, while I'm here, why not? There's not much left of this mission. Three objectives down, one to go. Ignore that. Command centers. Let's be having you. Careful of these mountains. These disconnected mountains. Let me get you out of here, man. Are there any armor pickups? No, there isn't. Could pick up some of the MIAs. Apparently they're missing, but I have absolute pinpoint accuracy on where they are. It's a curious phenomenon, that is. That's an armor pickup. How much health do I have? 85. Okay, well, there goes the armor pickup. Back to plan B. Oh, don't hide there. I can't fly there. I'm going to die if I come for you. Look, he's getting deeper in. Gotta work together here, man. I would appreciate it if one of my MIAs could actually make a kill without me. I'm not sure I've seen anyone do it yet. But who knows, maybe I'm asking too much. How's the fuel looking? Eh, I'll probably grab the fuel while I'm here. I said, do that dance. That's what we're all here to see, the bandy-legged dance. Not sure what they're teaching him in the army, but it's not proper running technique. Right, anything I desperately want? Don't think so. I think we're just off to destroy... Whatever that thing is. Command center. Wood explodes rather violently. Please tell me that is the Polish flag after I made that joke earlier. I'm going to look foolish, but I think it is. How do I approach this thing without taking damage? He's too quick. Look at the way he wrote it. Whoa, good grief. How about I just ignore him and destroy the building? That's a proper game plan right there. You, man. You're coming with me. And if you're thinking, well, surely that's it, right? You've done all the missions. No. We found the commander and he gave us the location of our lost agent. He's not missing in action. He's lost. It's different, all right? Secret agent, objective number five, has been revealed. We're going to bust him out. Oh, he, he's in somewhere, okay. He's not just stood on the ground. He's, he's somewhere of relevance. And we're going to get him out. But I'm curious. I want to know what a VDA is. There's one over here. So I genuinely don't know. Oh, it's the roaming... It's the actual frightening enemy. Okay. Never mind. I guess we'll pick up an MIA while we're here. 
Look, you're never going to win this fight, mate. And I can't hit him because... Wait, I'm shooting at you! I'm very sorry about that. It's a good thing I'm such a bad shot. Come on, on the ladder. There's a good chap. Surprised the enemy commander goes so willingly. Right, we are going to need fuel. That's some fuel near where I need to go. All right, that works. Straight into the action, then. Take that tent. Hang on. Slightly more tense. Whoopsie daisy. All right, that was... Technically speaking, that was a war crime, but nobody saw it. My well, X-Man saw it, but he knows how to keep his mouth shut. He wants to keep his job. And to my attention, I desperately need some ammo. That's quite quite a trick. Ah, we'll just make it work with what we got. So my lost agent is in one of these buildings. I'm sure if I looked more carefully at the map, I could figure out which one he's in. But apparently I guessed wrong. We'll try again. God oh, damn it. Just occurred to me that... Ooh. Never mind, we have found a base. It's music time. Rare treat in this game. Go, go, X-Man. It's time for you to be a hero. Get in there and get my man out. And while you're doing that... Um, let's do it again. While you're doing that, I'm going to fight this thing. Okay. Let's work. No one can keep up with these kind of moves. Nice work, X-Man. You got him out. Come back. Dramatic cutscene once again. That's my special agent there with the long flowing white locks. Apparently we didn't have an animation for climbing the ladder, so we just... We stay grounded as we ascend. But the good news. We've saved the team. I don't think the mission's complete, though, because there's still a... The second command center still standing. But I am gonna get the special agent to safety because there's an ammo crate over there. I'm curious to see if the mission's complete. Despite the fact that there is a building still standing. Let it be a no then. Right, I'm coming for you, random command centre. I'm not sure what the command centre is commanding at this point. But I can respect a command centre that doesn't give it up, even in the face of certain defeat. I suppose I can use my more powerful weaponry. The, are you coming to me? Willingly? I mean, sure. I'm a little surprised, but alright. Wait a second. I think all of my missions are complete. I just need to go back to my ship. I'm a fool. Oh, I'm bloodthirsty. I flew back over this desert wasteland just so I could kill a few more people and capture someone else. Honestly surrendered without much 
provocation. You know what? I'm in a good mood. I can't be bothered to drop you people off, though. You can get off on the ship. And where the devil is my ship? I don't have much in the way of landmarks when I'm looking for the ship. Here we go. I'm back, boss. The music has returned. First, the good news. You killed everyone. You saved everyone. I feel like it's just wrong to talk over this music. It's got more energy than I do. Wait, the bad news. Get your bad news out of here. Good lord, it's a secret bunker. I'm not sure how we have a camera feed inside the secret bunker, but let's have a look what he's up to. You thought you were prepared for anything, but you didn't count on one helicopter. If one helicopter is stronger than you predicted, I'm, I'm not really... I'm not sure you're the right guy for defense, but, you know, we'll, we'll keep it going. They've got scuds. It's time for their plan B. But. If the enemy forces are seriously considering firing scud missiles, there's only one thing for it. Dispatch one single year helicopter. I messed that up quite badly, but you know what I was going for. A prisoner of war camp, that, that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to save the world, not to save some people. Oh, never mind, the second half of this objective spree looks pretty good. Alright, understood. It looks a bit darker this time. The map looks awfully similar, but slightly different. It's got the same general terrain features, but the roads are different. So I guess I'm in a different place. We've got to start with the radar sites. You always start with the radar sites. There's a reason for this. I forget what it is. I think... I think you take more damage while the radar sights are up, or the uh, the enemy... We no, no, no. I think the enemy weaponry has longer range whilst the radar sights are up, and that makes it really difficult to get anywhere near those rapiers. Honestly, this isn't how you protect a radar dish. I'm not sure why you thought that was sufficient, and I'm not sure why all of your anti-air radar defences... Oh, ooh, hello, tank. Goodbye, tank. I'm not sure why all of your anti-air radar dishes are situated on the coast. Come on, look, I wasn't firing at you. Why are you firing at me? Honestly, some people are just asking for death, aren't they? Not the target I had in mind for that, but all right. Ooh. Ah, oh, I'll save that for later. Hello? Gamos? I'm taking quite a lot of damage here at the start. Not sure what the camel town is all about, but... You know, whatever, I saved a man. That was particularly close to me. I hate those things. I remember that being traumatized as a child by those. Right. Jailbreak. That must be the prisoner of war camps then. Off we go. I missed the music. some rather fetching looking buildings it'd be a shame to destroy this why is there a twinkle in your eye oh are you signaling to me you are that's smart as a child i never would ever have thought of that but i get it
Is that done then? Is it just one man? No, it's still indicating this area. I'm just gonna level the place. Very slowly. Hey, ooh. Well, that wasn't a mistake. It seems odd to me that he indicates where he is. But there's either someone else here who hasn't hasn't quite got the wherewithal to signal to me, or I have to destroy the building's enemy. What the devil is that? Are you, are you friend? Or foe? Friend? Oh, good lord, the tank! Fortunately, everyone who was on board is absolutely A-OK. -okay. Sorry about that, mate. These things happen, but, you know, we're, we're all good now. Anyone else want out of this building? Okay. All good. All good. Down a life, though. Not good. On the plus side, I don't need to return to heal anymore. On the bad side, I need some fuel. Ah, there's fuel at the landing zone. Let's see if we can get there. If we can't, we're all dead. How much fuel left? Seven. Oh, I made it easily. Honestly, what are these guys panicking about? I do need to drop these guys off because I'm full. My rather large helicopter can only hold six people. I'm not sure why. I assume it's six. The number six was written in red, and red's usually bad. I can't heal above 600 armor, even though I just saved the whole squadron. A little bit wasteful there, but what can you do? It's so peaceful. Who would have thought war could be peaceful? Well, it's not peaceful for that guy, he just exploded, but for me, it's peaceful. Did that hit me? It did. Desperately trying to shoot the man off the roof, but I'm struggling. There we go. You and me around the man on the floor, we'll get him out. Alright, you can stop shooting now. It's done. There's a rather large hole in the wall. Wait, wait, you're an enemy. I just realized. Why are you helping me out? I just flew into that building. I should take my anger out on it, don't worry. Things like this don't happen without payback. Oh, you want me to go to you, do you? Alright. Your legs don't work anymore. Uh... Well, why is our landing zone on the right? That's just strange. What's my hell that? So this should put me back to full, right? I'm going to assume prisoners of war give me the same HP restoration that you get from saving MIAs. I don't know, but surely. Those are some fantastic trousers you've got, mate. I've seen the trousers of my co-pilot and they're just... They're not in the same league. We'll swap fashion tips after the mission. I seem to have a lot of ammo. I'm skipping multiple ammo crates here, but... I don't need it, so why waste it? You're right. How much damage does that do? A lot. 
Right, tanks are a threat. Tanks are somewhere between medium tanks and mammoth tanks from Command and Conquer. Ow. I'm not even sure what you're shooting at, but I'm gonna kill. Are they shooting me? Okay, it's a man beneath me. I mean, they're all beneath me, but, you know. Why was there an enormous explosion over there? Why is there a tank over there? Not the best piloting skills you've ever seen, but... The tank didn't know what to do. He was confused. Alright, hurry up. I need to find some fuel. The fuel's miles away. Okay, I think I'm going upright. I'll be back. I can't afford to hover. Uh, north, north. Oh, we prepared a tank. That is a pretty cool landing zone, I'll give you that. I'm going to give you an insight as to what the army's like now. So you've told me mission two is complete. So that means no one else is getting saved. Unlucky. We're off to this power plant. Maybe any MIAs around. Not many MIAs on this, is there? I'm going to assume a Sue is a tank. What else would you be warning me about? If that means there's no tanks at the power station, I'm a happy chappy. Now, danger zone means you've strayed into an objective ahead of time. And if you're doing the objectives out of order, I'm, I'm pretty sure something makes it more difficult. I think it's range or sort of... Target acquisition speed, projectile speed, I don't know, it's something. But it's much harder if you go in the wrong order, so that's what danger zone means. It means warning you've strayed near something you shouldn't be at yet. You're right. if I'm hitting him or the building. Probably the building. I'm gonna lose. A one-on-one -on -one duel with this guy and I'm gonna lose. And some ammo just over here. Maybe I should grab that. Just out in the open for some reason. I am seriously going to lose to this guy, aren't I? Okay. What can I even do? How do I heal? Just kill him. Oh, that's a heal. God damn it! Knew that was going to happen. I just knew it! Uh, eat that. Alright, off to the chemical weapons. How many lives have we got left? One. Alright. Don't know if lives are carried over between missions or not. If they are, then the remaining missions are going to be rather difficult. But I know there's a password system in this game, so we've got that going for us. Good news, my prisoners of war. I said I'd be back, and I am. You see, you thought I'd left you behind. I wouldn't do that. Oh, 
Why are you storing your chemical weapons in giant rocks? There's the green light to go crazy with the weapons. Does that mean destroyed? I think it does because... No, no, wait, it's still hitting. It's very hard to tell if that's destroyed or not. Probably. Well, I'm going to destroy the rocks anyway. Release some of that natural rock gas into the atmosphere. Well, I think I'm dead. Yes, yes, low fuel, I know, I know. I know, I know, I'm trying. You're right, miss. Well, that was a perfect force I was flying there. There you go, get those trousers safe. see my friend again. Hello. Oh, I'm out of everything except for regular gunfire. I know I can hit this thing. Thank you. Also, it's occurred to me that I can shoot faster if I mash the button instead of holding it. That's a strange oversight. Alright, so power station's done, chemical weapons are done, scud launchers. Well, apparently I don't know where they are. Wait, the prisoner of war camp. So jailbreak is not the prisoner of war camp. Now I am confused. This is how you can view more details on your objectives, by the way. I've never shown this screen before. I'll show you the status screen as well. Look at that. Okay, we've done that. Destroy the Madman's Scud launchers hidden in this sector. Find the Scuds. Capture the Scud commander from their barracks. Okay, so I need a Scud Commander. Oh, okay, they're just dotted around. Very good, very good. I'll get this chap then. It's bad luck for him. He happens to be closest to my landing zone. Should I feel sorry for him? I don't know. I mean, he's a Scud Commander, so probably not. You can tell he's strong. He gets the double barracks. Surrender immediately? Where the hell do you think you're going? Intelligence info. Of a Scud launcher. Alright, alright. So we're going to have to capture multiple people, I understand. I mean, while I'm here, you want to lift? Alright, alright, best is understood. Is he here? No. I hate towers. I don't know why, I just do. Honestly, you'd be better off putting... If you, with all your Scud commanders, maybe don't put them all in double barracks with flags outside. And giant welcoming committees and arrows that say, I am here. Oh dear. That's probably not good. That's a few million people dead. There we go, that one didn't fire, okay. I'm a hero. 
my liability and a hero rolled into one. Have that while I'm here. Could do with the fuel. You see, you can't swing around like that if you're not playing on momentum settings. Right, excuse me, my good man. I'm going to need to know where your scud is. Don't you run away from me. I've got one man holding onto a ladder. There's no way you can possibly escape him. Gotta be honest, though, if that commander decided to have a pistol, then he's probably going to win that fight. Interesting choice of guard. Insufficient, I'm afraid. Yes, yes. You're a sprint champ, I know. Just flew face first into it. Which apparently isn't the way to deal with these things. And my apologies to whoever that hits. Load 5. I could do with a drop off, but... I feel like if I don't go to this Scud, it's just going to launch and kill everyone. So it seems that launching a Scud missile isn't that bad for me. i just probably going to lose some points. I imagine at the end it's going to go. Now for the bad bits. Sure. Look, civilians may have died, but it was a worthwhile cause, you have to admit. I'm not just killing civilians for the fun of it, alright? Not this time. I'm gonna have to get all of these people then, am I? You there, with me. Good lord, it's a tank. We haven't seen one of those for a while. Better go deal with this before it fires. All right. Mission 5 complete. I don't need any more scuds. All right. Good, good. Do oh, I want more ammo? could do what I'm here. Why not? Sure. There's only one objective left. And my final objective is to bust open a prisoner of war camp. Which is now not protected because I've destroyed the Scud missile launchers. Mm-hmm. That means I'm going to need some space in my helicopter. So let's make a quick trip to the tank. I hope I'm going up to. Okay, well, I was getting worried there. Honestly, my forces are going to be outnumbered in that tank with the number of commanders I'm sending in. I appreciate the fact that they clean their shoes before they get in, though, at the end there. Look, that's very nice. They may be my enemies, but I can I can respect some good manners. I hate those things. All right, prisoner of war camps. So I probably don't go in with explosive weaponry. I had to guess. Obviously, if the guard towers, it's fine. But when I'm actually busting open the buildings themselves, I mean. Right, we took a bit of damage there, but we're all right. With one man guarding all of the prisoners of war, maybe they could have busted themselves out if they just worked together, but all right. It's fine. All right, men. Good news, I'm here. 
Man, what are these things built out of? It looks like wood, but... I mean, stop firing, it's cutscene time! He could've just opened the door, couldn't he? But one man per hut, you guys were living in luxury! Oh no, wait, there's a second one. But now we've got a bit of a problem, because I don't think I can hold this many people. If there's four in the first building, I'm going to have to seriously make multiple trips for this. That wood is too reinforced, I can't beat it. Come on, come on! Uh, you're on your own, mate. 270 armor. Let's see if we get any armor back for saving prisoners of war. I just realized these are the prisoners of war. So at the beginning, I, I wasn't saving prisoners of war then. I was saving prisoners. Because it was called jailbreak. All right, whatever. I mean, enemy's enemy is my friend, right? Am I really going to die to low fuel? No, I'm not. That's a relief. The fact that there was a tank there suggests that they called for backup. The prisoner of war camp is under attack. Send the tank. That kind of thing. All right, mate, come down. You jump up and down and wave at me. I'm going to crash. Honestly, these people have got no patience. How did you get in here? Isn't there a fence? Oh, I think there was a fence. Not anymore. You could work with me a little bit, couldn't you? You could walk towards me. Maybe go unlock the other door. But no, no, I wouldn't want you guys to strain yourselves or anything. Also, I'm not sure why we don't just need the ladder down. My winch system's going to give out. I'll be back. I just had a rather frightening thought. I, I might run out of fuel and crash on the way back to the ship. I don't think there was any fuel left on the map. That'd be interesting. Surely we've got enough fuel for this, right? Speed things up with the old turbo shot. Where do these tanks keep coming from? There weren't that many on the map earlier. I don't need to save anyone else. I feel bad leaving them, even though it's completely irrelevant. Alright, boat, I'm coming. I say completely irrelevant, but there's probably points at stake. Yes, yes, I see you. I'm not going to help you, but I see you. I'll tell HQ where you are. Maybe they'll send the tank to pick you up or something. I don't know. Probably not. But 90% of the enemies are dead, so you could probably shoot your way out at this point. Another successful mission. Coming home.
The music does make you feel good, I'll be honest. It's, it's so high energy. I'm ready for the bad news, come on. Hmm, I can approximate the value, the damage dealt by the Scud launchers. Based on the penalty cost of one civilian dying. That's not that bad. I can accept this. Well, we will be continuing. The wind doesn't strike me in the next video. I gotta shout over this rather epic music, but hopefully next time you'll join me for that. I messed that up. But we're gonna go with it anyway. Hopefully you'll join me for that. And I shall see you then.